In this video I want to share with you how you can save your presets from the Nordram 3P on your computer and also how you can later then transfer them back from your computer to the Nordram 3P. My name is Janis and in case you're new here you can find many videos about the Nordram 3P on my channel so in case you're looking for some creative input on how to use it I'm already going to link some info card here with a playlist containing all my videos about the Nordram 3P. And also some little announcement before we start because this video is also connected to what I've been recently up to because I just finished and released my first ever custom Nordram 3P sound pack. It contains 50 kits ranging from just simple drum kits to some 808s and bass sounds and also quite a lot of synth sounds and some sound effects and percussion sounds as well. The main focus here lies on offering sounds to you that are mostly flexible and versatile because what I was always thinking about those stock factory presets was that they sound really fun but mostly on their own. So they have a lot of effects and as soon as I tried to kind of integrate them into some bigger arrangement, it was a little more difficult because those sounds were so special. That's why the sounds in this pack are more like some basic vocabulary for drummers and music producers. So sounds you can always reach out to and that are not too particular just yet because they don't carry lots of effects and once you pick one you can easily tweak them into whatever direction you want to go to. You can find all necessary information down below in the description like where to get it and there you can also find some discount code that gives you 20% off if you purchase the pack until November 15th, so in the first month of its existence. So let's just start with the actual topic of this video and thanks for bearing with me through this little advertising moment. But also I wouldn't share this with you if I wouldn't enjoy playing those sounds by myself and if I wouldn't think that they could have some good value for you as well. In order to transfer files between the Nordram and your computer you need some program that you can download for free on the Nord website and you can either google for Nord Drum Manager or you just use the link that you can also find down below in the description of this video. So here you can see that we're not dealing with the most modern type of program, both from the design and also from when this has been updated the last time because they still mentioned Windows XP here. But I'm having some rather new laptop and it already has this new Mac M1 chip and it also works here. So I'm kind of optimistic that it still works on all possible devices. And then you just click on this download link and whatever you have, Windows or Mac, download the file and install it. After installing the program, you also need to make sure that there's some MIDI connection between your Nord drum and your computer. And a typical thing to use for that would be some USB MIDI interface like the one you can see here. And while you need to just plug in the USB side to your computer, there's one thing you need to make sure with those MIDI sides because the MIDI in of the cable has to go to the MIDI out of the Nord drum and the MIDI out of the cable has to go to the MIDI in of the Nord drum. So you have to make sure that MIDI in of the cable doesn't go to MIDI in of the Nord drum because then it wouldn't work. Once you open the program, it will most likely ask you to select your MIDI interface because it also has this option disabled. And maybe it sometimes works automatically, but then you would just not see this. But if you do, just make sure to select whatever you're using. In this case, it's the USB MIDI interface and click OK. And now it should say that it's connected with this green little light and say ready to roll here. And again, this program isn't the newest and I also experienced that maybe it crashed once, but it just happens sometimes, but usually the next time it will work. So I can't say I'm a huge fan of this program, but that's basically what we have to work with. And if you're a bit patient, it usually works. And now you can get your kits from the Nordram 3P, but there's another little downside that you can only get full banks. So you can't say you just want to save kit A13 or C43. You have to get the whole A bank, for example, or the whole C bank. And then you just have to click on get bank and select whatever bank you want to save on your computer. Let's say we want to save bank B. And then you just click on save to file and just pick the destination where you want to store it. And similar story, if you want to send some kit to the Nordram 3P, you have to go to send bank and just select a file. And let's say here, this is this custom bank I just made. And then you have to select where you want to store it and you have to know that you always override whatever is under. So if you store it to position E, for example, the whole E bank that is currently on your Nord drum will be overwritten. So if you want to keep those sounds and you haven't stored them somewhere else, it's a good idea to, before doing this, get the current E bank 
this the same way I just explained to save it on your computer before overwriting it with another eBank. And then once you're sure that you won't overwrite anything that you otherwise haven't stored somewhere else, you can click on send and it's going to send those kits to the Nordram 3P Bank E. And exactly the same procedure works for the individual drums as well. And again, you can't send like one kick drum to your Nordram 3P, it has to be a whole bank. And for the individual drums, it uses those user banks like U128. So for example, if you want to get a bank, you can select all the banks from U1 to U8. And if you want to send a bank, again, it will override like one of those banks in the exact same way that I explained for the whole kits. And that's already it. I really hope it could help. Otherwise, just drop questions in the comments. I'll gladly help you further. And yeah, as you can see, it's not the most amazing software or the most amazing procedure. With those drum pads, I feel like they don't invest much into their software. Also with the Roland SPDSX, the software, in my opinion, is really terrible and makes you use this device mostly as a MIDI controller because otherwise you just spend so much time with some super ancient program. But yeah, I hope it can help. Once more, you can find more videos about the Nordram 3P on my channel and I'm going to link some playlist here containing all my Nordram 3P videos. Apart from that, I wish you inspiration with whatever it is that you create and hope to see you soon again at this channel. Bye.